looks like a nightmare. Here we heard a giant snap and then boom. October 12, 2006, a day Western New Yorkers will never forget. Cracking, the falling, the, and you could see the, the snow kind of billowing up from the ground. And... A free winter snowstorm brings devastation not seen in decades. The damage to the trees is really devastating. It was a beautiful park. You just, now it's, it's heartbreaking. But out of that devastation comes the resiliency Western New Yorkers are known for. It's a completely different place. It's not going to be as pretty as it was, but I mean, it's still South Buffalo. Well, can you believe it? It's now been five years since Western New York was in the grips of that October surprise storm. This morning, News 4's Anthony Kanji is live with a look back and forward at the storm that forever changed our local landscape and strengthened our namesake as the city of good neighbors. Anthony. Yeah, Victoria, that storm caught most people completely by surprise. And with all the weight on the trees, hundreds of thousands of people lost power, and many of the scars from the storm can still be seen today. Ask anyone what they remember about the October 2006 storm, and what they'll likely tell you is the eerie sound you heard when things got quiet at night. The trees were groaning under the weight of the thick, wet snow. Cracking, the falling, the, and you could see the, the snow kind of billowing up from the ground, and yeah, I was afraid to come out. The fact that snow was coming didn't surprise meteorologists, but the amount of snow did leading to one of the region's most destructive storms ever. Parts of the region got as much as two feet of snow, and it damaged or destroyed millions of trees around Buffalo. Officials knew back then it would leave a lasting scar. In a city like Buffalo that has, uh, you know, so many mature trees, and that's going to be, uh, it's going to change the landscape of the city for quite a while to come. Now, thankfully, it's not all bad. Through all that tree damage, two very local active organizations have started. Retree Western New York is trying to replace those destroyed trees, and Carvings for a Cause uses wood from those destroyed trees to make wood carved statues for local figures for charity. Anthony Kanji, News 4 Wake Up.